Well, it's like 35 degrees out today. I was going to work on my HD5, but I decided I'm going to work at getting my cylinders for my Cat 60 ready to be bored. I want to clean up the water jackets. You probably can't really see in it, but the water jackets are quite full of rust and scale inside. And I thought this one I already did. I thought to clean them up, I'd use the sandblaster and go right down and blast in all the water jackets, clean all the rust out. And you'll see later how much comes out. This is what I did already. You can't see down in there, but I can. And they're really nice and clean now. So I got three of them to go because I wanted to clean them out before I get them bored. This is my air compressor. It's an old Developus V4 two stage. It was originally powered with a Sconson V4, but a rod bearing went on that. And now it has Chrysler Flathead 6 powering it. Oh, I did that 30 years ago already. It came out of my dad's Massey Harris Combine. You can see I still have the instrument panel on it from the Combine. So that's my air compressor. Here's my air storage tank. 500 gallon, old 500 gallon LP tank I got from my LP supplier 25 years ago. It's really nice to have a big backup because the air compressor doesn't really keep up with the blaster. And here's my little sandblaster. I got that along with that air compressor. Oh, that's 35 going on 40 years ago already when I got that air compressor and blaster. So it actually works out good. About when that tank gets empty, my air pressure is starting to drop a little bit. So then when I fill it with uh, sand in that time, then the air picks up again. Because if you try blasting with a little bit low on air pressure, you use a lot of sand and you don't get near as much done. So I'm going to get it going here. Well, I got a second one done. Uh, you may be wondering why I'm only why I'm not blasting all sides of it. As you've probably seen, I don't paint any of my equipment. I like to let it look how it has since it was built. It all to me it all tells part of the story. So that's why I'm not blasting the outside. Well I gotta do two I have two more to go. I'm done blasting on cleaning out the water jackets on my cylinders for my 60. They're the four I'm going to use. This is one of them, the original cracked ones. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it on my past video about my overdue 60 project, but I've known this tractor since I was 15 years old probably. So that's 50 years. And it probably hasn't run since I was born in the mid-50s because it was last used to run the gravel crusher that I have up at Baraboo that you may have seen in some of my videos. And he quit using that in the early 50s. And probably one reason quit being run also, or the main reason is, you can see the crack there in the cylinder. Three of the cylinders had cracks in them like that. This was the number one cylinder which wasn't cracked. One interesting note is this cylinder that wasn't cracked has different casting numbers than the other three that were cracked. So I'm guessing that the number one cylinder cracked early on its life and was probably replaced. That's why that one has different casting numbers. And these three are my replacement cylinders I purchased oh, about 10 years ago already. As you can see, they are quite heavily pitted, but that shouldn't be a problem 
because Cat 60s, some were six and a half inch bore and some were six and three quarter to my knowledge. And mine was a six and three quarter inch bore and the replacement cylinders I purchased were six and a half inch bore. So I should be able to bore them out and use my original six and three quarter inch pistons so I won't have to sleeve these. So I'll finish cleaning up all the gasket surfaces first and clean up the pistons good and then hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll be dropping them off at the mean machine shop to get those three bored. So thanks once again for watching. I hope you enjoy this.